Hey, what's up, everyone? I just wanted to do a review of these new shoes that I just got in the mail. Um, these are called Be Real Shoes. I found out about these uh, through Northwest Foot and Ankle Clinic. And um, the great thing about these shoes is that they have a wide forefoot. So for those of us who like a real natural feel when we're, when we're running and like that natural toe splay, um, I re recently spoke with Dr. Ray McClanahan, and he said that's very important for a natural foot movement to be able to have that toe splay. And for people who don't like the five fingers, um, this is a great option because it's, it's kind of like a single uh, compartment five finger. It's, it's very similar to the same shape as a five fingers. Um, so it's a great option. And I was also intrigued by these shoes because they seem to have a little bit more padding. At least the photos I saw online seem to have more padding. And that's a, a trade-off that I find a lot of times with the five fingers is that if you hit a rock or something, um, it can be pretty painful. So um, while I love the five fingers, I'm always looking for something with a little bit more padding but still has that flexible uh, sole and that same natural feel. So I took these out for about a five-mile run this morning, uh, a little bit faster, around a six-minute pace, and I was just testing them out, and I'm... I'm I'm just, I was just curious about how, how that padding would be. Um, the padding is not much different than five fingers. It's very similar to the same feel, but I really like the fact that it's wide towards the toes, which is really what you want, uh, especially if you've been in minimal shoes for a while. People's ten, foot tends to um, get a little bit wider um, as the muscles strengthen. And uh, so it had a great feel, but you could actually, you, I, I did go over some rocks and stuff like that, and you can still feel the rocks. It's, it's a very similar feel to the five fingers. Um, so I, I really like that. Now, uh, something I didn't like was uh, there's a pretty gnarly, some pretty gnarly stitching in the forefoot right near this area here. Actually, it goes all the way down, but it's pretty industrial style stitching. Um, if you look at the stitching, actually the stitching isn't even visible in something like a five fingers. You can feel a seam, but the stitching actually isn't there. And I started to get a hot spot right about here, um, right where the ball of the foot uh, bends, right there. And I, I don't, I don't know if it's because of this excess rubber, but actually I think it's that stitching because it's more near the bottom. So you know, I really like the feel of these and and everything like that. But uh, I think they need to make some improvements with that stitching. I I took them for five miles today, and I had a, a blister on on both feet, uh, my, a very mild blister, and maybe my feet would just get used to that. But uh, I definitely would uh, have to ease into them very carefully because of that, um, or perhaps put some kind of moleskin or something there. So uh, that's just my impression of this shoe so far. Um, for people who you know, another another good use for these would be in the winter. I love the five fingers, but your toes tend to get very cold. And so I might end up using these in the winter quite a bit. Um, the grip on the bottom is very sticky, or fairly sticky, and it's, there's a really good grip, so that might be handy in the winter as well. But uh, that's just my two cents on this shoe so far. Um, it has a great feel to it, but I think they need to do some improvements with that stitching on the inside. Thanks for watching.